Thing one tonight, remember Sebastian Gorka? He's one of those short-lived Trump administration cast of characters and advisor whose duties were never really clear other than going on TV and saying things like this. The message I have, it's a very simple one. It's a bumper sticker, Sean. The era of the pajama boy is over January 20th, and the alpha males are back. Somebody has to be the president's pit bull, and I'm ready. I'm going to take it to them. More people watch Nick at Night cartoons than CNN today. Gorka was supposedly a deputy assistant to the president focusing on national security and terrorism. But there's conflicting reporting on whether he ever even had a security clearance, which is a thing you would need to serve the president in matters of national security and terrorism. Well, today we learned why Gorka might not have gotten that security clearance. And it's not because that he parked his art war Mustang Alpha Mobile on a D.C. sidewalk. No, it's something more serious than it's thing two in 60 seconds. So Sebastian Gorka never had a security clearance in his nebulous role as advisor to President Trump. We think we may have learned why. It appears the Hungarian police have an active warrant out for Gorka's arrest for a charge of firearm or ammunition abuse issued on September 17th, 2016, according to BuzzFeed News, which cited a Hungarian publication posting this arrest warrant. Details are few, but it was filed in Budapest and could stem from an incident as far back as 2009. Gorka told the Washington Examiner, quote, the reported date was in 2009 and I moved to America a year earlier in 2008. More fake news. But he did not respond when asked if he was saying he was not in Hungary during the time of the alleged offense. So for the entire seven months that Sebastian Gorka was in the White House, he might have been wanted by the Hungarian police. The Trump administration, in its vetting, might also have gotten a clue from the fact that Gorka was denied a security clearance in Hungary back in 2002 in his failed attempt to have a political career there. The message I have, it's a very simple one. It's a bumper sticker, Sean. The era of the pajama boy is over January 20th, and the alpha males are back.